Welcome back to Retro Again. This is episode two of my Chrysalis Re Let's Play and Review. I want to show off this uh, game's rather strange continue feature. I did some off-screen grinding earlier to catch up with uh, you know my levels and money and all, so you guys didn't have to watch that. And oh, oh this is going to keep happening. So you guys didn't have to watch that, and when I hit continue, this happened. And I was rather frightened, because when I walked out of here, this happened. And if you saw the earlier episode or ever played this game, you'd know that's the beginning of the game. And, well, I didn't get too far, it definitely wasn't at the very beginning. So, fortunately I tried this. Hit select and then start. And you load your game up, and there we have Fucker. And we're back! So, I don't know what, what SNK was thinking with that. Uh, this really peculiar way to save and continue a game. Uh, maybe they just didn't know what they were doing with the NES, or... I don't know. Because I've never seen anything remotely similar to that on a Nintendo save feature. Oh, hey, whatever works. We have the game, and we can keep playing, so... Whatever. And we'll go to the end and rest here. And that is definitely the fireball sound from Super Mario Brothers. Um... This game is very grindy, at least in the beginning because I need it 80 to buy a shield, and then I think we need something called the Alarm Flute. And those two things alone were 130. I didn't buy them yet. I have the money right there. And I, I tell you, I had to bust a wild monster head in to get that. Here we go, no. So we have our shield. Let's equip the. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. There we go. Alright, looking good. And we'll grab the alarm flute. Yeah, I wish to buy. Maybe we'll get an antidote as well. I don't know if there's warp boots still. I guess maybe they take you back to town or something. And we have 50. We'll grab this antidote, and oh, we have a whole fifteen dollars left. That's that's just awesome. Um, this is not a blind playthrough. Uh, I don't know how many of them I'm going to do because my dark, my oh, master of darkness. I don't know why I keep calling that game Dark Master. In my Dark Master video, I attempted to me to uh, do a blind playthrough. And it didn't work out in the end. I kind of got stuck at the very end of the game. And uh, in a maze that I just didn't really feel like dealing with. And it was lazy of me. And the solution was very simple, but... I really just didn't want to make everyone sit through footage of me wandering around in a maze for hours on end, getting lost. Especially when I just had to break two blocks to uh, get out of there. So in here I'm just going to peek ahead every now and then, see what I have to do. Just to make sure we keep things running smoothly in the game. But I don't know what I'm totally supposed to do here. I know I'm supposed to go through here. Let's go up here. I know I need to do something with the alarm flute. Uh, fortunately, the walkthrough I found is spoiler-free, so that's pretty cool. Maybe I... See, I, I am kind of relying on memory here. With this. Maybe I messed up. And I guess you guys are going to watch me wander around a little bit. Oh well. Probably went in the wrong cave, actually. There's several around here. Come on. 
see, maybe there's something to the east here. Hopefully. Ugh. The only other cave I know of is the one in the early beginning, I guess, where we talked to the guy. Try going up here though, checking around here real quick. Oh, it almost looks like there's something there. I'll we'll check this out. And this game has a really interesting setting. If I remember correctly, there's a little bit more to the story than what you see in the very beginning. I don't quite remember it though. I'll have to look that up too. Since I don't have the manual. Okay. Uh, hey, don't call me a fu- oh, hey, a fucker's my name. Can I make the windmill work? If you can do this, I'll teach you some magic. Maybe I just have to play that flute. I don't know. I'll try going back there. There's supposed to be a guy in there. I think you wake him up with the flute. That's what I remember from the, the game. And the walkthrough said pretty much the same thing, so... Oh, I want that. I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, I'm getting hit. These slimes. I probably should just charge up my sword. That's one thing I'm, I am totally like about this game, is you have to stand completely still to charge up your weapon. I guess they were trying to make it a little more, I guess, tactical. Okay, well, let's try the alarm flute. I play it here. I don't want to drop it. There we go. It does nothing. Okay, so I'm certainly missing something. I'll go back to town, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Why was he not here earlier? Oh well. Wakey, wakey. Nice unibrow, buddy. Huh? What was that? Don't do that again. It's you. Please don't tell Zebu. Take this to start the windmill. Zebu says a strange bowl is hidden in these caves. He says it can break rock walls. Now have the windmill. Okay, yay. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. I don't know why that guy didn't spawn earlier. I'm pretty sure I went up there. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what the game did wrong. Not drop. No, I'm not trying to drop it. There we go. Alright, so the windmill's working. Good. Uh, oh, well, there was something there. That wasn't any special amount of intuition or skill on my part. I have played this game before, years ago. It was probably just in my memory. Somewhere waiting for this moment. Okay, there we go. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of playing with the idea of um, going to the end and resting. At the same time, at $16. I have an herb. You have done well, I will now teach you the magic of refresh. I'll have refresh. Alright. I'll take that. So I guess I can heal with this. I'm, I'm not sure how to heal. I think I pressed the other button, the A button. I do think some of the enemies here are poisonous. So, here I got that herb maybe. Or the antidote. Poison. Hopefully the game's not glitching out on me, because that... Because it really seemed like it was about to... Glitch out. I don't know if you guys heard that in the background, but this wind pushing against the, uh, the window in here. Uh, right now there's a blizzard going down. Middle of January. 
we're supposed to be getting uh, three feet of snow. I live in the uh, northeast United States, so we get that stuff sometimes. Um, that, that sound was really unsettling. I thought the window was going to go for a second. But it's a great night to chill out, play some chrysalis, have, uh, have some hot chocolate or a shot of whiskey or something, I don't know. And, uh, just kind of enjoy life. Okay. One thing I've noticed is I do these videos, I'm really becoming more comfortable with just talking to the blank screen. Uh, I had a lot of trouble doing that earlier. It's really only been a few weeks since I started. I think I started the 7th of this January, yeah. And the first few videos I did were really just uh, footage. I didn't even talk. So, you know, I feel like I'm improving a little bit, getting a little more comfortable. It's something you have to get rolling with. What's up here? Oh, yeah. So, one th problem, one thing that these games has instilled in me. And anyone who's watched my Master of Darkness video might notice this, is I have to kill everything and anything I come across. Uh, mainly because of games like this. You know, you had to have experience, you had to have money. And in these old games, running from fights, you know, unless you were really all set. You know, I think I need to go back up there. I don't know why. I'm going to trust my memory here. 16 years ago. Yeah, these games, running from fights, was something you, I really only did unless I needed to or I was just that good um, in terms of gold and experience. Otherwise, I would generally duke it out with whatever I could. Alright, there we go. You now I have warp boots. Okay. So. I guess we'll find out what these do. I'm gonna find out what Refresh does. I think it's a healing spell. And I'm healed. Okay. That's good. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can save. I don't know if you can just save willy-nilly. I'll try it. Oh. Yeah, I cannot save. Alright. Alright, Chrysalis. Okay, that's guy. I remember these guys do that. I walked into that. Not once, but twice. Let's see, bats. Always bats. Oh. I have bad relationship with bats in these games. Yeah, yeah medical wear, alright. Take that too. I'm not done too badly. I thought I was going to get destroyed in here. And this game isn't super hard so far. Oh. Alright. Level up. I wasn't expecting that either. See, that's one of the reasons why I kill everything. Some games it doesn't pay off. Especially, like, action games. Uh, it's a game where enemies tend to drop things. You know, uh, like, you know, special weapons or whatever. And yeah, it's kind of worthwhile, but... Usually I'm just screwing myself over. Let's see. You now have Bowl of Wind. I don't know what that does. I think, uh... I think if I remember correctly... Yeah, there we go. Powers up your weapon. Ugh. Respawning bats. It's even... I hate that even more. Alright, tactical retreat here. There we go. Now, I think I can break these walls now? Yes, I can. There's a wall earlier, maybe. Maybe it'll pay to backtrack. Not sure. There's one up here now. That was a treasure chest down there. A 
One thing I don't quite understand about this game, I happened to peep it while I was looking at the facts, is your uh, your shield defense and your, your armor defense are different things. And I was trying to figure that out. I may have to read the, into that a little bit. Because, I mean, that kind of implies that you can block, or maybe the shield has a block chance. Or maybe the shield has, like, a specific effectiveness against certain things. I don't know. And, uh, this looks like it leads to more stuff. So maybe I shouldn't have gone this way first. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll go back the other way. Another thing is I really try to get everything I can. So I tend to backtrack a lot. Uh, that too comes from playing these kinds of games. I used to play a lot of the original Diablo and Diablo 2. And I was always very careful about finding the chests. You know, killing every enemy in the area. Just because you could get that one good drop. And a lot of times it did pay off for me. Some people would argue otherwise. There we go, antidote. Well, I guess uh, it's worthwhile. I might end up, oh, might end up needing it. You gotta remember, shit respawns. He comes back, I won't be happy though. Ugh, oh, more bats. Kill it. Kill it just because it's a bat. I'm not a big fan of bats and rats and all that crap in video games. It's very unimaginative. And even Legend of Zelda has them. Okay, I don't want to go there. We'll heal up a little bit. Oh, I can control that. That's even better. It's probably one of the best healing spells I've seen, actually. You gotta take the time to do it, but hey. I think it's these slimes that are poisonous, so I'm gonna be careful around them. At least the enemies in this game have some kind of cool, I guess, I don't know, winged snake. There's tiger men or whatever they were earlier on. At least it seems like they're trying. That counts for something, right? Oh, medical herb. Oh, so we're looking good at, on restorative stuff. I think there's a boss coming around. I think he's coming up. I don't remember very well, but we'll, we'll find out real quick. So, oh, yeah, I think this is his room, actually. Now he's kind of cool looking. He I mean, reminds me of, uh... He doesn't do much. That's for sure. Oh. He shoots bats. Of course! He would he'd shoot bats. Why not? Ugh. Oh. Bastard and your bats. There we go. I'm not pleased by that. Magic power is too low. Right. I have rabbit boots. I don't know what they do. Let's find out. Fresh rabbit boots. I'm using them. I don't know what they do. I'll have to look them up. Do I walk faster? Let's see. Another OCD I have, I have to check everything. I have no idea what those do though. We'll just find out. Maybe I'll, when the next time I check a guide, or fact or something. Uh, well, came out here. Oh, okay, this is the next area. I don't know if I'm supposed to go here yet though. Um, I probably should. But there, there is a wall behind that old guy. 
he, he said something about breaking it or something, so I should probably visit him. Always listen to your elders, right? Especially if their name is Zabu. Or Zebu, I guess it's Zabu. I'm just gonna run past this shit. Oh! Oh no. I think that was a po- oh no. I thought that might have been poisonous. If I remember correctly, poison will fucking fuck your shit up in this game. One problem with this blizzard is, I ordered a, a mic recently, and it's supposed to be coming soon. But if we're getting three feet of snow, I don't think uh, I don't think Amazon's gonna, gonna have it on time. So it might be a few days, which is a shame because um, the equipment I'm using right now isn't that great at all. Um, I have better stuff, but I, I need the mic to actually utilize it. Uh, I was thinking of actually using my phone as a mic for temporary measures, but uh, I'm not the best video editor yet. And I, I did try it, and syncing the sound up, and the voice up, and all that, I was having a little trouble with that. And one thing that really bothers me in movies and videos is if the sound's not synced properly. I don't know why, but it, it just drives me nuts. Uh, I've even seen movies like that, you know, there's like a couple milliseconds where the, uh, the voices aren't synced with lips and I'm just, oh, I don't know, I can't take it. So until I'm, I'm actually skilled enough to do that, I don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot of editing. This is something I'm going to practice. And now that I'm done rambling about that, I'm going to use the power to open the way. Okay, that <laughs> didn't help. But yeah, um, when I do get that, well this doesn't do shit. You're lying to me, Zabo. Use your power to open the way. I don't know, maybe I come back later. Alright. Yeah, yeah, he's got a ponytail, huh? Yeah, now, when I do get that mic, I'll be able to do, uh, do a lot more. I have several indie games I want to showcase in my awesome indie games. And I can't get them to run on the laptop, which is the only thing that I can get, you know, pull video off and get a mic going and all that. And the laptop can run, I think, all of them just fine, but then if you're trying to pull video, you have that running, forget it. You're going to get horrible frame rates and just bad quality overall. I do actually record in low qualities. Uh, that's something I do purposefully, though, uh, for two reasons. The first one is I know a lot of people use mobile devices and have metered data. And, you know, if you're watching a video on your phone, you know, you, do you really need, like, 1080p or, you know, best audio quality or whatever? Uh, like, I don't really think so. Uh, it's not going to come through very well. And aside from that, it's, it's also a lot of data, so, you know, recording in slightly lower qualities, lower resolutions and all that, makes, the, uh, makes it a little easier for mobile users. And secondly, these games, they were, you know, they were on the old uh, tube TVs, and if you ever saw one of them, they were fuzzy, you know? And the games actually look better at lower qualities, in my opinion, because when you have, you know, HD, big HD screen, you're going to get 
you know, very blocky sprites, very just ugly graphics. So, the recording quality is kind of like, you know, way of replicating the old feel, because I don't have a tube TV. And, you know, going out and getting one, you know, there are a lot of people who do that. That's cool, I mean, that's what they want to do. Awesome. Uh, I'm not going to do it because, you know, a lot of them are, are biting the dust. I had one that I bought around 2000 and it's done. You know? It's gone now. 15 years of uh, faithful service and I went the wrong way. And it, you know, it kicked the bucket. And a lot of the, those are getting older now. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Like maybe if you can find one that's newer, you know, it might be a wise investment, but... Of course, I guess you can get them repaired, too. Or repair them yourself, even. You know what you're doing. And to me, that's a lot of hassle. Especially when there's ways that you can, you know, simulate the original look and feel of these games without bending over backwards. Ugh. Should be charging up. But it really just kind of breaks the rhythm of the game, I guess. Ugh. More of these things. They, they remind me of something, I don't know. But yeah, so that's why I record in lower recall in lower qualities because this stuff just comes out looking a little bit better. Now, if, you know, if people do want me to record in higher qualities, I'm willing to do it. Not, not totally against it. And maybe I will. Uh, I. You know, what I'm using right now, I think the videos might be maybe a little, a little blurrier than I like. Kind of, kind of thinking about it. So I might bump quality up a little bit. And like I said, if there is a, a demand for high quality videos, then I'll do so. Especially when I start getting into stuff like, uh, the PlayStation 2. And eventually I'll even do things like Xbox 360 and Wii U and Wii because, you know, they were designed around HD stuff anyway. I think that's a town over there. So they're going to, they're going to come across a lot better. Alright. So I think we're going to check out this town. And I didn't put a timer on myself, I probably should have. So what I'll do is I'll check the town out. There's a bar. Check the town out and let's see what's going on. And I'll see the time, maybe if I'm feeling up to it I'll make another video tonight. Uh, you, know, you know what, I'm going to have to do some off-screen grinding since I'm in a new area, actually. I might have to get to level 4, level 5, but let's talk to these guys, check out the shops, see what's going on, and I'll figure it out. I am Akahana. I used to have an unusual statue, but I dropped it near the river. It is a great find and will be difficult to replace. Have you seen it? No, I have. This town is mostly for travelers. Pretty noisy, isn't it? Yes, there's a fountain. I, uh, from Final Fantasy, the original, I always expect a message when you go up to a, a fountain or a well. It used to tell you your face was dirty and you had to wash it. The village of Oak lies deep in the forest. The people there don't understand our language. Okay, and you're going to tell me that twice, thank you. There are two routes to Mount Saber, the one west and one north. Both roads are very dangerous. Well, yeah, this is a video game. We 
wouldn't be anything but dangerous. If you go east, you will find the forest. It's a grand maze where plants will shoot poison. Oh, that's great, beard guy. Let's talk to us, check. I've heard that there's a village where only women live. I wonder. Yeah, I guess there might be? I don't know. Never know in these games. I think there's a village like that in, uh, what was it called? Star Tropics. In fact, you actually had to dress up like a woman. Which is kind of, kind of interesting when an NES game that they do something like that. Usually, uh, Nintendo is really squeamish about, you know, anything someone might find odd or take offense to, especially back then. Wise man Tornal lives with his pupils in the north. There's actually, I actually have more um, uncensored NES games. I think I have two or three more. Uh, one's of Bionic Commando. I might actually do a ROM hack showcase of that soon. Um, I'm debating it because by, there's probably good reason why they censored that one. Let's see what this guy says. I told him that I made a lot of money from stones I found on Mount Saver. After that, he got excited. Well, I guess. I just found out how to get rich quick. Later. <laughs> there he goes. Alright, Bobby. Welcome. Please have some refreshments. Yeah, so I, I wonder what that guy said in the Japanese version. Let's see what this is. It's shot. Pawn shop, is there anything you wish to sell? No. Looking to buy. What are you buying? That's a game I definitely want to do. Is, uh, oh, I don't need to come here. No, sorry dude. Definitely want to do Resident Evil 2 someday. It was one of my, or not 2, excuse me, 4. Why well, 2? I enjoyed 4. No, it was a little bit controversial. This is different. I like it. Leather armor. What do I have? A hide armor? And a bronze shield. I guess I'll start with the uh, leather armor. I'm just going to trust myself and make sure. I don't know if you can buy things twice in this game. Make sure. Oh yeah. Okay. I want to see if his sprite changed because I thought that was really cool. There is another game where your sprite does change on NES with your armor. Might be a few actually, but one definitely is Fizanida. I don't think I changed it all, did I? Let's see. No, uh, no difference. Uh, yeah, Fizanida. And I forgot that. Which is funny because I was just playing it. Uh, okay, you don't have anything I want. So we'll take a look at these, uh, overworld enemies a little bit. Um, you probably end up seeing them, because I think I have to search around here. These, these are kind of cool, they're boar men. They remind, oh, throw axes, okay. They remind me of, uh, I guess the Moblins from, um, Legend of Zelda. So, yeah, I'm going to be grinding. what I do. Oh, better heal. I didn't save. I think you could have fighting these guys, that's for sure. At least you get a little more experience and money. The, the enemies in the other place are dropping like one experience and like maybe two gold. That was very slow leveling. Yeah, so I guess that's about it for this area for now. I'm gonna grind a little bit. I'm gonna feel like it. Maybe I'll make another video tonight. If not, maybe tomorrow. So, thank you so much for watching Retro Megadon. Uh, total pleasure doing this. I've been waiting to play this game for years, so it's great playing it, and, you know, it's just great thinking that, you know, maybe someone's out there watching this, having a good time watching it. So, thank you. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you later, and I need a catch line for my sign-off. Think of that.